2022. He is named after Major General Bruno Hochmuth, who at the time of his death was the officer killed during the Vietnam War. Major General Hochmuth was also the commanding general of the depot from November of 1963 to February of 1967. General Hochmuth was awarded the Distinguished Service Medal, the Legion of Merit with Combat V for Valor, the Navy Commendation Medal with Gold Star in lieu of Third Award, and the Park with Star in lieu of Third Award. Class Bruno continues the tradition of a long line of Marine Corps Bulldog mascots dating back to 1921 when Brigadier General Smedley Butler appointed Sergeant Major Jiggs as the first Bulldog mascot for Marine Corps Barracks Quantico. Private First Class Bruno is being escorted by the Office of Communication Strategy and Operations, Corporal Joshua M. Dreyer. Spiritual development plays an important part in the making of a United States Marine. Lieutenant Eliseo Morales, Chaplain Corps, United States Navy, will deliver the graduation prayer. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise. Let us pray. Mighty One, we thank you for your presence here today. We thank you for the young men and women of my company who came in as recruits and are leaving as Marines. Through hard work and perseverance, and now join the ranks of the finest fighting force on earth. Within each and every one of them runs a war fighting spirit of a Marine that never gives up, no matter the odds. May they take pride in the great accomplishment. We thank you for the friends and family who provided support through thoughts, prayers, and letters of encouragement. May they rejoice in this great celebration. We thank you for these drill instructors, for they have made Marines. Through hard work and perseverance, leadership and discipline, they have made Marines. They have instilled within each and every one of them the honor, courage, and commitment that is woven into the very fabric of this Corps. It is because of these drill instructors that these new Marines can now live out the great honor traditions to always be faithful, first to fight, and most when the nation is ready. May they take pride in the great work and enjoy their well-earned rest. Mighty One, we thank you for your presence once again, and as always, we ask that you continue to bless this Corps and country, now and always. In your holy name we pray. Amen. Thank you. Please be seated. The Commanding General, Marine Corps Recruit Depot, San Diego, welcomes you to what is a historical event. have departed San Diego for service with to recruits enlisted west of the Mississippi, which represents approximately 50 of all applicants in the Marine Corps each year. The depot is also home to recruiter school and drill instructor school. All of our efforts here are geared toward one end, producing America's finest fighting force, the United States Marine Corps. This morning, Company M, 3rd Recruit Training Battalion, Recruit Training Regiment, will form and march in the parade. In review, the graduating Marines will return front and center of the reviewing stand for final dismissal. The staff for today's parade is comprised of Marines from the Recruit Training Regiment. The commander of troops is Captain Megan E. Sakura, Company Commander, Company M, 3rd Recruit Training Battalion. The parade adjutant is Captain Thomas C. McCarthy, Company Executive Officer, Company M, 3rd Recruit Training Battalion, Recruit Training Regiment. The marching units are now being called to attention. 
at the adjutant's command. Sound adjutant's call will begin today's parade. Marching in today's parade are 556 of the graduating Marines from Company M. Among the 556 Marines are two Marines who displayed outstanding performances in two individually graded events. Private Emo G. Nez from Platoon 3267 is the company high shooter, scoring a 336 out of 350. First class, Kyle L. Sullivan from Platoon 3262. 261 as the most physically fit Marine, scoring a 300 out of 300 on the physical fitness test and a 300 out of 300 on the combat fitness test. They will be receiving awards from Marine Corps Association and Foundation. Present today is the Company Honor Graduates Recruiter, Staff Sergeant Jacob D. Bustamante. Also present today is the Primary Marineship Instructor with the Platoon High Shooting Average. Recruit training is comprised of subjects required to produce basic Marines who function effectively in garrison, are trained in rudimentary individual field and combat skills, and practice the personal and professional traits which distinguishes them as Marines. Example of these traits are discipline, the achievement of self-control and self-awareness which assures respect for authority, instant and willing obedience to orders, and the self-reliance to maintain or improve those traits which exemplify a Marine. Military bearing, consistently demonstrating military presence and personal awareness, as well as the proper wearing and maintenance of uniforms. Esprit de corps, acquiring the common spirit of the Marine Corps that inspires enthusiasm, devotion, pride, initiative, teamwork, aggressiveness, determination, moral courage, integrity, camaraderie, and the burning desire to work with and for others towards excellence in common goals. For 247 years, Marines have fought and won whenever and wherever the nation calls. The harshest conditions, over the most brutal terrain, and against the most formidable enemies. Marines defend the ideals of freedom with grit and tenacity. Although battlefields change and capabilities evolve, history proves that true victory comes from the individual Marine with steeled resolve, the drive to overcome any obstacle, and the warrior spirit to fight on against all odds. It takes that steadfast faithfulness, semper fidelis, to core, country, and each other that abound throughout our storied legacy. Marines today remain in combat for deployed throughout the world confronting every challenge with courage, loyalty, and faithfulness. They are resolved to be the most ready when the nation is least ready. To defend freedom anytime and anywhere. To stand ready to aid those devastated by natural disasters. To pay tribute to those who have forged our proud legacy and to honor the families and loved ones who faithfully stand beside us. For the Marines of Company M, today marks the end of the 13-week recruit training cycle. They have marched countless miles at Camp Pendleton as well as on this parade deck and they have been trained as are all Marines as basic riflemen. In addition, due to an intensive physical training program, their strength and endurance have doubled since their arrival aboard the recruit depot. They are Marines qualified to take their places in the ranks of the world's finest fighting organization.
The platoons are now being aligned from left to right in order to get them into their exact positions for the parade. The next portion of the ceremony will be our national anthem. We welcome veterans and members of the armed forces to join us in rendering appropriate honors with a military salute. For guests who have not served in the military, it is proper etiquette during the national anthem to place their right hands over their hearts and for those in the audience wearing headgear to remove it. Will the guests please rise for the presentation of the colors. Ladies and gentlemen, our national anthem.
Thank you. Please be seated. At the command, post the colors. The color guard moves into position within the parade. This signifies that the entirety of the parade has been formed and is ready to be presented to the command. Following the command, parade rest, the parade adjutant will give the command sound off, which signals the band to parade forward of the assembled marines while playing military marching music.
The Parade Adjutant now presents the assembled command to the Commander of Troops. At the command, Officer Center March. All unit commanders and guide on bearers march to the front center of the formation. Historically, it was at this point that commanding officers would issue orders and instructions to the unit commanders. Following this, the unit leaders would face about, return to their units, and pass the information along to their Marines.
Throughout our nation's history, millions of men and women have earned the title United States Marine. Many who have helped shape our history join us here today. In keeping with the tradition of once a Marine, always a Marine, we would like to recognize them. At this time, those in the audience who have served as Marines, please rise. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for their dedicated service to Corps and country. Thank you. Please be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, the battalion commander for 3rd Recruit Training Battalion, Lieutenant Colonel M. Matthew Phelps. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, family and friends, distinguished guests. On behalf of the Commanding General of Marine Corps Recruit Depot San Diego in the Western Recruiting Region, Brigadier General James A. Ryan, and the Commanding Officer of the Recruit Training Regiment, Colonel Peter M. Rumler, it is my pleasure to welcome you to the graduation ceremony for Company M. It is also my distinct pleasure to welcome today's parade reviewing official, Colonel Ken Laidman, Director of Inspection for the General of the Marine Corps, whose impressive biography you'll hear shortly. Sir, we are honored to be with us this morning. Before I talk about the amazing young people that you came to see graduate, I'd like to first acknowledge a few groups of people without whom their success would not have been possible. First, let me recognize those impressive Marines you see wearing the distinctive green campaign covers. They are, of course, the legendary Marine Corps drill instructors. Drill instructors are the critical element in the transformation of civilians into Marines. From the moment a recruit arrives here at the Recruit Depot, a drill instructor is with them. 24 hours a day, seven days a week, everywhere that they go. It takes a special Marine to be a drill instructor, and these Marines are extraordinary. Their impact on the Marines is permanent. Let's face it, of the thousands of people we meet in our lives, few of them will leave a lasting impression. But no Marine will ever forget the name, the face, or that gentle, loving voice of their drill instructor. Seated next to the reviewing stand is another special group of people. They are the families of the officers and drill instructors of my company. These families know firsthand the time, dedication, and sacrifice that it takes to make Marines. They assume additional roles and responsibilities at home so that their Marines can be here focused on the mission. We couldn't do this without their love and support, so please join me in a round of applause for the families of my company. Now, every one of these Marines' journey began with one of the hardworking Marine Corps recruiters who canvasses this nation on their mission to enlist the next generation of Marines. Today, Marine Corps Recruiting Command is represented by Staff Sergeant Jacob Bustamante of Recruiting Substation Denton, Texas. It was Staff Sergeant Bustamante, Bustamante who recruited our company honor graduate, Lance Corporal Nash Dieter. Staff Sergeant Bustamante first recognized Lance Corporal Dieter's potential and offered him the opportunity to become a United States Marine. Congratulations, Staff Sergeant. Now let me talk about these incredible young people behind me. They are truly some of the best this nation has to offer. When they arrived here, they were young and fit, 19 years old on average, and already in better shape than most people their age. 
97% of them were high school graduates and seven had already earned college degrees. Beyond that, they demonstrated a courage and a commitment that few of their peers could muster when they raised their right hand and swore a solemn oath to support and defend the United States. They come from every corner of the globe. In this case, four different countries. Kenya, Mexico, China, and Korea. And some came from across the street here in San Diego. But wherever they came from, it was a common goal that brought them together. The goal of becoming United States Marines. Three months ago, these young people embarked on the world's most demanding entry-level training when they got off the buses and stepped onto our historic yellow footprints. Since then, they've been rigorously tested. They've been trained and evaluated in the attributes that, Marine, that make Marines unique in the world. They've learned battlefield-tested warfighting skills so that when this nation calls, these Marines will be ready for the fight. Those essential skills were imparted on them by the talented instructors up at Weapons Field Training Battalion at Camp Pendleton and included marksmanship training, teaching them to deliver precision rifle fire at targets at staggering distances, 500 yards out. Today, Weapons Field Training Battalion is represented by Sergeant Lidecker, who is the primary marksmanship instructor for our highest shooting platoon, or our platoon with the highest shooting average, 32 Three. Sergeant, congratulations. Thanks for being here. In addition to training them those critical skills, we've hardened them by developing their physical and mental toughness so that they'll never give up, no matter the odds. We've indoctrinated them in our core values of honor, courage, and commitment so that they will be Marines of exemplary character in peace or at war. And we've instilled in them a bias for intelligent action so that as small unit leaders will be able to decide, act, and communicate on battlefields of the future. I hope that when you're reunited with your Marines, you notice a few changes. They should stand a little taller, look a little leaner, They'll look you in the eyes, and they'll use strange phrases like, yes, sir, and yes, ma'am. You won't have to tell them to clean up after themselves or finish a meal, and I promise you, they know how to make their beds. But behind those changes is what I'm most proud of. More than just learning about our core values of honor, courage, and commitment, they've embraced those values of their, as their own. Through their courage coming here, through blood, sweat, and tears, through physical, mental, emotional, and character transformation, they've fully committed themselves to serving our Corps, and I am honored to serve alongside them. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you 555 young people who can now and forever claim the title United States Marine. Ladies and gentlemen, excuse me for just a moment while I address the formation behind me one last time. Good morning, Marines. That is pure pride. Pride in themselves and pride in the title that they've earned. Now, Mike Company, I know when you arrived here a few months ago, the furthest thing from your mind was standing here. More likely what was going through your mind was, what in the world have I gotten myself into and how do I get them to stop yelling at me? But here you stand today, having accomplished something that most people would never dare attempt. When you get home this weekend on your well-deserved leave, people will be proud of you, as they should be. They'll look up to you. They'll be impressed and amazed at your transformation. 
Your friends will ask you how you did it. And when they ask you, I want you to take them for a walk right on down to your recruiter's office. Because I promise you, your drill instructors and I would love to meet your friends. Remember that with your new title comes new responsibility. The strength of the Marine Corps does not come from any weapon system or piece of equipment. It comes from the war fighting spirit of individual Marines working together as a team. At its very essence, war is a violent conflict of wills, of spirit. And so, it is your spirit, your character, that matters most in combat. The world is a dangerous and chaotic place, and that is why we now have you. Our Corps' legacy of being first to fight and never giving up now rests with you for safekeeping. The eagle globe and anchor that we handed you atop the reaper as you finished the crucible represents that legacy. And for as long as you wear it, you represent the entire history of our Corps and every Marine who came before you. Be proud of what you've accomplished. And be proud of what you now represent. As you go forward in your lives and careers, be worthy of the title that you've earned. Marines, on behalf of the officers, drill instructors, and all the support personnel here at Marine Corps Recruit Depot San Diego, let me be the first to wish you fair winds and following seas. Semper Fidelis Marines, and welcome to our Corps. Now to take in their position in the reviewing area is today's parade reviewing official, Colonel Kenneth Laidman, Director of Inspections, Office of the Inspector General of the Marine Corps. He is accompanied by Colonel Peter M. Rumler, Commanding Officer, Recruit Training Regiment, Marine Corps Recruit Depot, San Diego. Originally from Houston, Texas, Colonel Laidman attended the University of Memphis on an academic excellence scholarship. Upon graduation, he served initially as a combat medic in the United States Army before earning a commission as a second lieutenant in the Marine Corps in 1998, where he was designated an 0802 artillery officer. Colonel Laidman has served in a variety of challenging billets in numerous commands to include Four Observer, Fire Directions Officer, and Battery Executive Officer for our 1st Alien, 12th Marines. Commander of Task Unit 151 TAC-4 for Counter Piracy Operations in the Horn of Africa region. Commanding Officer of Recruiting Station, Portsmouth, New Hampshire. Division Chief of Strategic Analysis and Policy for United States Special Operations Command, Pacific. Colonel Laidman is currently serving as the Director of Inspections for the Inspector General of the Marine Corps. His personal decorations include the Purple Heart, the Defense Meritorious Service Medal with Gold Star in lieu of Second Award, the Meritorious Service Medal with Two Gold Stars in lieu of Third Award, the Navy and Marine Corps Commission Medal with Three Gold Stars and Combat Distinguishing Device in lieu of Fourth Award, the Navy and Marine Corps Achievement Medal, the Army Achievement Medal, and the Combat Action Ribbon. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Colonel Kenneth Laidman.
Military units allowing the unit commander to formally inspect the unit under their charge. More than a million Marines have been trained here in the past 100 years and have departed San Diego for combat in conflicts around the world, including places whose names are immediately associated with Marine courage and dedication. Names such as Guadalcanal, Tarawa, Iwo Jima, Busan, Incheon, Chosen Reservoir, Kaysa. Way City, Lebanon, Granada, Panama, Kuwait, Somalia, Fallujah, Ramadi, Marja, Sangen, and our most current operations worldwide. This parade deck is rich in history and tradition and no Marine trained here ever forgets its sights and sounds. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, as the national flag passes directly in front of you, please rise. Once it passes, you may be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, Commander of Troops, Captain Megan Isagora and the Regimental Staff. Marine Man, San Diego, Marine Corps Recruit Depot, San Diego, California. Series 3,261, Series Commander, Captain James R. Schuler and Platoon 3,261, Senior Drill Instructor, Staff Sergeant Nicholas M. Diego.
Honor Platoon, 3,262. Senior Drill Instructor, Staff Sergeant Thomas M. Wallstrom. Two, three thousand two hundred and sixty-three. Senior Drill Instructor Sergeant Jesse J. Guerrero. The Regimental Color Guard is led on the march by the Regimental Color Sergeant, Drill Instructor Sergeant Rodolfo Navarrete. Series 3265, Series Commander Captain Annalise J. Slogar. Platoon 3265, Senior Drill Instructor Staff Sergeant Antoine S. Wallace Sip. Platoon 3266, Senior Drill Instructor Sergeant Gerardo A. Escalera. Platoon 3267, Senior Drill Instructor Gunnery Sergeant Joshua E. Hall. Ladies and gentlemen, if you turn to page 21 of your graduation pamphlets, you will find the Marines Hymn. The Marines Hymn has a history dating back to 1859 and has a long-standing tradition for Marines to play session of the music and stand at attention when it is heard. It is now directed that all Marines present and who have served honorably, and ladies and gentlemen, you're all encouraged to join. Sing the words to the first verse as Marine performs Anchors Away, followed by the Marines hymn. Will the guests please rise? Thank you. Please be seated. Yes, 
the Marine Corps' uniqueness and strength as an elite fighting force is directly attributable to the magnificent efforts of the drill instructors and company officers who train and supervise the recruits. The distinct qualities of spirit and discipline, the heart and soul of every Marine, have been developed, nurtured, and ingrained in recruits through their servants and relationship with their drill instructors and officers. Recruit training is the very foundation of the Corps. Each year, recruit training provides thousands of America's finest young men and women with the basic knowledge and skills to function in a profession characterized by its own set of high values and tough standards. The most important thing we do in the Marine Corps is make Marines. The individual Marine is the Corps. That is what we do here. For the Marines graduating today, the long, arduous journey of the last 13 weeks is but a small step into the future of the Marine Corps. As they prepare to fill the ranks of our Corps, they do so with unquestionable support for the high ideals and standards of the United States of America and the United States Marine Corps. Although Company M prepares for their final dismissal from boot camp, their initial training is not over. Soon after graduation, they will report to the School of Infantry, Camp Pendleton, California, where they will continue to be trained to serve as an effective member of a Marine Rifle Squad. The intense initial training that every Marine undergoes is designed to instill the fundamental premise that every Marine is a rifleman. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, we would like to introduce to you the Marines responsible for ensuring the success of the difficult transition required to become a Marine. The company commander is Captain Megan E. Sakura. The company first sergeant is Gunnery Sergeant Grace S. Gomez. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in a round of applause for the company staff of an EM. The next portion of the ceremony will be the traditional function of hiring the guidons. The guns have been carried by the platoons throughout recruit training and are being retired to symbolize the disbanding of platoons. All similar units in the Marine Corps carry such guidons, which identify the unit and or a source of pride to each individual member. Note, the honor of carrying these guidons is bestowed upon those Marines who displayed outstanding leadership qualities, motivation, and character, and were selected as the platoon honor graduates. The platoon honor graduates compete for the titles of series and company honor graduate. They are considered the Topics graduating today and have demonstrated the highest potential for future leadership and responsibility in the Marine Corps.
the Guidons will now be returned to the Drill Lynchers. The honor graduates will now be presented a plaque by the battalion commander, Lieutenant Colonel M. Matthew Phelps, and the battalion sergeant major, Sergeant Major Gerardo Itinho. Ladies and gentlemen, please hold your applause until all honor graduates have been recognized. The honor graduate for platoon 3,261 and the company honor graduate is Lance Corporal Nash M. Dieter from Lindsay, Texas. Lance Corporal Dieter is also the recipient of the Chesty Puller Award for his outstanding meritorious performance while in recruit training. The honor graduate for platoon 3,262 is Private First Class Jack B. Gentry from Central Oregon. The honor graduate for platoon 3,263 is Private First Class Dominique X. Rusk from Dallas, Texas. The honor graduate for platoon 3265 is Private First Class Daniana I. Vasquez from Houston, Texas. The honor graduate for platoon 3266 and the series honor graduate is Private First Class Ethan M. Schmidt from Bellwood, Nebraska. And the honor graduate for platoon 3,267 is Private First Class Brandon D. Page from Avondale, Arizona. Ladies and gentlemen, the honor graduates of Company M.
Company first time reporting as ordered. Oh, yeah, ma'am. The company first sergeant will now give the command to the senior drill instructors to dismiss their platoons. Needless to say, this will be the most welcome command they have received throughout recruit training. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes today's ceremony.